Hello friends, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have seen the syntax and an application of using the conditional statement if else. In this video, we will see another variant of if else that is elif. Right. So let us take an application. Say imagine you have a basket. The basket is filled with different color balls. Say, I will say now, ball 1 color, I am defining ball 1 color, which is equal to green, ball 2 color, ball 2 color is blue, And ball 3 color is red. And ball 4 color is equal to white. So, all these balls are available in the basket. Now, you are asking the user to pick a ball from the basket. Okay. Say, you are asking the input from the user. Okay, I'll say like pick underscore ball is equal to, I'm taking an input. So, I'll use an input statement. Input, please pick a ball. So, whatever the user input, so it will be given that will be stored in the variable pick ball right now let us try using if statements and find out what is the color of ball that the user has picked okay how do i check i'll use if statements if pick underscore ball is equal to equal to so whenever i use Single equal to symbol, that means I am assigning the variable. Okay, say example, I am showing you here. If I write like A is equal to 5, that means 5 number is getting stored in the variable A. Right, so whenever you are trying to compare, now what am I trying to do? Whatever is a picked ball, whether it is ball 1, ball 2, ball 3, ball 4, I am trying to compare. So whenever you are making comparison, Okay, the operator, this is called as operator. The other operators could be plus, minus, right? Whatever we have seen in the mathematical operations, right? So, they are called as operators. Okay, so this is called as comparison operator. Whatever is being highlighted now, so it is called as comparison operator, right? So, now if I am asking now, if the picked ball is ball 1 underscore color. Okay, so this is a syntax and I have to put a colon and if you press enter, just observe how is the indentation. This is called as indentation. What do you mean by indentation? So, there is enough space here. That means whatever I am writing here, it is part of if condition, right? So, in C-like program, you use flower braces, but here you are trying to provide, you are trying to give a information through the indentation itself. Right. So, if the picked ball is equal to ball 1 color, what I will do is, I will say print, what shall I print? Green ball is picked. Okay. Next, I have other options to be checked. So, in the previous program, I had only two conditions, whether A is equal to B or else condition. Now, I have many such conditions. So, instead of directly two states, if or else, I will use, I will make use of another kind of a condition, what is called as else if. Okay. So, how do I write that? E-L-I-F. Right. So, but when you enter it, so it should be in the same line as that of if. Right. Now, I will write elif pick underscore ball is equal to is equal to ball 2 color 
wall to color. Then what should I print? I should print green, uh, red, uh, sorry, blue ball is picked. Blue ball is picked. Similarly, I will use now next elif statement. Same thing I'll copy. What I will say is if the big picked ball is same as that of a ball three color, then I'll say red ball is picked. Okay, now I have checked all the multiple conditions. Okay, the ball picked ball is neither green nor blue and nor red. Then it has to be white. Hence, I'll use directly else. Else. Print ball is white. White ball is picked. So this is how I have built an application. Now let's play a game. So I'm executing this. Okay, it is asking for the user input. I will enter red. Okay, so red is red is a user input, okay, which is stored in the pick ball variable. It is compared. This comparison statements will happen. So pick ball is equal to equal to ball one color then this line gets executed. If this condition fails, it will check this condition. So in this case, this condition is also failing, right? So the next condition is getting executed. So it is going on checking the conditions. In case if the ball is neither green nor blue nor red, then it will be white color. Shall we try out that? I'll execute again. See, you, you got the answer as white ball is picked. So, this is how I make use of if, elif and else conditions. See you in the next video.